Hey guys, it's Oscar with Hobby News Plus. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to do a quick preview on 2021 Top Star Wars Masterwork. Um, this is one of the more premium sets for all the non-sports cards, but specifically for Star Wars. So this is going to be one of the higher end or more expensive sets to come out each year. Uh, Masterwork was actually first released in 2014. Um, so not too long ago, but it has a decent track record. Um, and if you're looking online, for example, for boxes of like the 2014 or even 2015, they're near impossible to find. So it's a very limited product. A uh, very scarce product and definitely uh, in high demand. A um, couple of things I wanted to go over. Uh, their release date for this product is April 8th. So from the uh, date of this video, you got a little bit about uh, over a week or so. Um, the boxes are roughly 325 to 350 on pre-order. So it's not a cheap product, um, but you do get two autographs per box as well as several other hits. So the 325 price tag is not that high compared to other sports, for example or I should say sports cards in general. So moving forward, the product has a 100 card base set. And something to keep in mind if you are interested in this product is that the cards are on a much thicker card stock. So this isn't your normal trading card where it's a very thin, almost like, you know, not piece of paper, but you get the idea. This is a 73 or 75 point card stock. So if you do get any packs or boxes, or singles, make sure that you have the right um, uh, protection for it in the uh, sleeves and top loaders. The uh, base cards feature eight different parallels, and this is actually one of my favorite parts about this set. I believe you get one blue parallel per pack, which is not numbered, but then every other card that you would get from the base set is numbered. So green to 99, purple to 50, and so on. Um, in the era of just mass production, it's nice to see something not have a million different variations. So this is something I'm a really big fan of. Another uh, Grogu card here. You got to love that. <laughs> All right. So the autographs, um, of course, are a big, big draw for Star Wars Masterwork. And there's a couple of really cool things that I like about how they do their autograph sets here. So what you're looking at here is the Star, uh, Star Wars Masterwork um, uh, autograph set, but this is the silver frame version. So if you look towards the bottom here, you can see there's the blue foil number to 99, the rainbow foil number to 50, but then you see canvas, wood, and silver frame. Now what's great about these cards is the canvas card is actually a different material. So it's not the same as the uh, standard, you know, foil or blue foil, rainbow foil. Um, it actually has a canvas sort of material to it. The same goes for the wood, which are numbered to 10. So the wood cards are actually, it feels like a real piece of wood. I believe it is a real piece of wood. And then they have the autograph on the wood. And then what you're looking at here is the silver frame. Uh, the silver frame uh, is an actual, it's not silver, but it is like a metal frame that holds the card. Um, and this became really popular through, I believe it was Topps Museum Baseball. So this design has been around for over 10 years and it's a real hobby uh, standard, a real hobby favorite. So the silver frame cards are numbered to five. And then of course you have the prints and plates and so on, which go lower. But isn't that great? You got the regular standard cards, foil, canvas, wood, and silver frame. So it's a really nice touch. It's a really nice way to make the set stand out and different as opposed to just different color, different color, different color, which you could probably tell is a little long in the tooth for me. <laughs> So moving on to the autographs, um, of course you have the standard autograph set, but then there's also the dual autographs number to 50, canvas autographs number to 25, wood number to 10, and so on. The triple autographs have 25 copies as well as the parallels, and then the quad autographs are number to, uh, I believe they're number to 10 if I'm not mistaken, the quad, and then there's also a one of a kind galactic autograph book with 20 total signers. Now, I have last year's version that just sold on eBay, believe it or not. Have you ever seen a $16,000 card? And that was for last year's version, which only had 10 signers. So this year has 20 total signers, and uh, I'm curious to see who pulls that and what that goes for. So a couple of things, if you're not familiar with this type of product, what you're looking at here is a quad booklet or a quad autograph booklet. So it would basically be like two standard cards that almost fold in half. So if you were to get a dual autograph, it basically would be like one card or half of what you see there. And then the 20 signers or the 20 autograph booklet would actually fold out, I believe, into five uh, different sections like you see there. So really, really incredible um, 
hit whoever gets that is going to be one happy person a uh, really cool insert that doesn't get a lot of love but it, i think is just awesome that the uh, autograph pen relics so they literally take the pen that the person was signing autographs with for these cards and they put the tip of the pen in a card and it's a one of one relic so the autograph pen relics is just a really cool touch um Additional inserts include the jumbo sourced fabric costume relics and I read somewhere uh, previous to this video that these are actually worn in the movie or in the uh, show so it's actually used um, and you get a jumbo uh, costume relic so that's a really cool uh, touch. The commemorative medallions are back and basically those are almost like a, a metal badge looking piece in the card and then if, of course they focus on different characters and so on. Uh, moving forward, another big, big draw, just as big as the autographs, if not bigger, are going to be the sketch cards. So you have the regular standard sketch cards in this set, which of course we're all familiar with, but they added a couple of different uh, variables to this set, which are the sketch card books, the panoramic sketch cards, and then the triptych sketch cards. I believe the um, sketch card books they've had in the past, but I know the triptych sketch cards are new. Um, I wish I had more information. I tried to find some photos, but there's not much out there, so I'm real curious to see what those are. And then moving on to the standard or uh, more common inserts, of course, you have the Star Wars uh, toys to cards. So basically the figure as well as the action figure. I love that. Uh, the Lucasfilm 50th anniversary. And then of course, welcome to the dark side. So those are the three more common or more standard insets. And that basically covers uh, most of uh, what they have to offer as far as 2021 top Star Wars masterwork. The breakdown comes five cards per pack, four packs per box, and then eight boxes per case. Really small set, like I said, which is only 100 cards. And the release date is April 8th. So a little bit of feedback before I show you guys a real cool uh, listing here that was just sold on eBay. Um, I think this is an incredible set for collectors. If you are a Star Wars fan, if you love the, you know, um, characters, the artwork, whatever the case might be, I think this is an absolute home run. Um, for investors, if this is something that you're looking to buy and it's going to go up in value, I'm not so sure that this would be what I would focus on. Uh, Masterworks has a great track record, but if you look, for example, at the last like two, three, four years, the box prices hasn't, haven't necessarily gone up dramatically, not like, you know, Marvel cards or some sports cards, for example. So, amazing product to buy and rip and own and keep uh, maybe not the greatest product if you're looking to invest long term so with that being said i wanted to show you a few of the uh, sales so this is ebay completed listings for 2020 so this is specifically last year's product and these are the top sales over the last 90 days guys check this out 2020 Top Star Wars Masterwork Ultimate Autograph Book. So this is last year's book that had 10. Now, this year has a book with 20. I'm real curious because it's a one of one. Are they going to have several booklets that have 20 autographs? Meaning, will there be three or four or five? Or is it truly just a one of one with only one card having 20 autographs? So here is a quick close-up of that card. Um, I wish I had a better photograph, but I couldn't source anything better than this one. You can see right here that this is the quote-unquote card. And then this is like a second version or a second piece. This card would have two. And then over here, of course, is another version that this card would have two. So the main one, of course, Han Solo and Princess Leia. But man, a $16,000 Star Wars card. And that was just from last year. Moving down the list. Pedro Pascal is one of the most popular autographs in the set. So this is a printing plate, which frankly, printing plates aren't completely desirable. They're not one of the more sought after insert sets out there. 3,500. Christy Gleason here went for, let's just call it 1,500-ish. If you don't know about eBay, guys, when you see the line through this, that means that a best offer was accepted. So it didn't exactly sell for 1,700. If you see this where there's no line through it, that generally means it sold for that price. So just a little eBay tip. Moving on, we got Carlos Caballero, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi for 1,200. And then here are some of the sketches. You can see that the uh, sketches go for a ton of money as well. 760 for an Anakin Skywalker autograph. So that just about does it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and the uh, fire truck behind us. But please subscribe, 
give me some feedback. Tell me what you think of the product. Is this something that you are going to be uh, opening up? Is this something that you're looking to uh, keep, to rip, to save? Any feedback would be appreciated. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.